name is Parm from Parm's Yoga and I am so excited to be collaborating with Giovanna to bring you this very, very special yoga class. In this class, we are going to be focusing on activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, we're going to be doing that through breath work, asana, and maybe a little bit of meditation. All right, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see when we get there. So the key with this is there are two aspects to your nervous system, right? There's the sympathetic nervous system and the, there's the parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for things like the fight or flight response, right? And every single time you feel stressed or you feel like you're on the spot, like you have to do something, you're activating that nervous system. And actually what happens is the majority of the time when we're functioning, we're living in our day-to-day -day lives, we're actually chronically stressed, right? Our, our sympathetic nervous system is always active especially in today's society when there is just so much to do and even in our downtime we pick up our phones and we decide to scroll endlessly what are we doing in these in these occasions we're activating our sympathetic nervous system and it's actually funny because i noticed the change in my heart rate when i watch things that are you know like thrilling tv shows or or you know even any type of tv any type of program that you anything that you consume that brings up strong emotions is essentially activating that nervous system and it's actually the opposite that you want right to get deeper rest to sleep better to be calmer to regulate your emotions better you want to be activating the parasympathetic nervous system this is a nervous system that when you do this it tells your body tells your mind that you can relax that these shoulders that are up here can come back down okay so in this yoga class we're going to be focusing on activities movements breath work that will activate that nervous system okay we want to calm the body down and bring it back to a state of equilibrium and that's exactly what we're going to do so grab your mats and let's head on over to the studio and let's get started to begin let's sit easily and comfortably with the palms facing up on the knees take a deep breath in exhale from the mouth Another deep breath in. Exhale from the mouth. Let go of the day ahead of you. Let go of what happened in the past and land fully in this moment. We'll start by chanting Om three times. Take a deep breath in. Take a moment to observe the stillness that has settled inside and out. Bringing your mind to the present moment, the right hand on the belly and breathe into just the belly. You can close the eyes here, and as you inhale, expand the belly in all directions. 
And exhale, contract, pull the belly in toward the spine. Allow the lungs to empty all on their own. Continue at your own pace. Observing the movement of the breath and the gentle rise and fall of the belly. If the mind wanders, bring it gently back to the breath. Allow the hips to relax here. And settle into your mat. On your next inhale, place the left hand on the chest and breathe into just the chest. If the mind wanders, again, just bring it gently back to the breath. Inhaling and expanding the rib cage in all directions. Exhaling, contracting the rib cage. Give the heart a little hug. Long deep breaths. And let's combine the two for full yogic breath. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. All the way up to the collarbone. And pull the belly in toward the spine. Exhale, allow the lungs to empty all on their own. Keep breathing, allow any emotions that may be rising up to come and go. And keeping the awareness fixed to breath and the body. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow yourself to settle into your mat. Take one last deep breath. And as you exhale, relax the hands, relax the breath. Inhale to look up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring the chin to chest. Inhale up. Exhale down, chin to chest. 
Inhale, begin to rotate the head to the right and up. Exhale, up and down. Continue mindfully moving the neck and becoming aware of any tightness or tension in the neck. And just breathing through it. Reverse directions. Inhale to the left and up. Exhale right and down. Continue. And come back to center. Rotate the shoulders. You can turn the palms facing down on the knees. Inhale the shoulders forward and up. Exhale back and down. Continue. Keeping the awareness in the shoulder blades and becoming aware of any tightness there. We store a lot of tension in our shoulders. And so making gentle movements like this is so important. Reverse directions. One last rotation and relax. And stretch out the arms at about 45 degrees, reaching the fingertips towards your mat. Exhale, bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale, center, and exhale, other side. Inhale, center, exhale, back to the right. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, come back to center and stay here. Let's raise the arms so they're parallel with the ground. Palms facing out. Fingers are outstretched and rotate your hands. As if you're pushing against two walls, keep pressing out through the palms. Make fists, rotate your fists. Opposite direction. And inhale, take the arms up, interlace the fingers, turn the palms facing up, and stretch up like the spine. So the stretch should begin at the base of the spine here. It's not just localized in the shoulders and the arms. But it extends all the way from the base of the spine to the tops of your fingers. Let's take the attention to the base of the spine. As you inhale, take the attention all the way to the palms of your hands. Allowing the spine to lengthen as you do so. Exhale, bring the arms down. Let's begin to sway side to side like a pendulum. Keeping the spine straight and movement in the hips here. Let's take the opposite arm overhead. Allowing the movement to flow. And working into the low back, let's pause on the right side. If the elbow is pressing down into the mat, open up the shoulders, reach out through the left fingertips. So you can take the eyes up. So keeping the face looking forward, just take the eyes up. And notice how this affects your stretch. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, other side. Again, press down through the elbow, relax the hips, reach out through the right fingertips, and take the eyes up. And 
Inhale, come back to center. Once again, take the arms up. Inhale and exhale, bend forward, take the hands forward. Bring the head down. Make an effort to press the chest down towards the floor. And allow the low back to relax here. You can press down through the palms. Long deep breaths. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, walk the hands over to the right side, and lean over your right leg. Again, bring the head down, you can press down through the palms, keep the hips relaxed. Long deep breaths here. Look forward and come back to center. Let's do the other side. As you exhale, come on over to the left and bring the torso down over the thigh. Press down through the hands. Allow the low back to relax here. Inhale, come back to center. Let's walk the hands back toward the body. Come back to seated position. Come into tabletop. Palms beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Tops of the feet are flat on your mat. Inhale, look up. Arch the back. Exhale, curl the back. Bring the chin to chest. Inhale, arch. And exhale, curl the back, chin to chest. Continue at your own pace. Keeping the awareness in the spine. And come back to neutral spine. Bring your left hand to the center of your mat, and as you inhale, take the right hand up. Introducing a twist, look up. Press down through the left hand. Exhale, come back down. Place the right hand in the middle of your mat and take the left hand up. Look up. Actively press down through the right hand and exhale. Bring the left hand down. Curl the toes under, lift the knees. Come into down dog and walk out your feet here. Let's breathe some life into the backs of the legs. So keeping the ears next to the biceps, lift the hips. And walk it, continue walking out the feet. Bringing the left heel, then the right to your mat and continuing. Whenever you feel ready, Make a gentle effort to bring both heels to your mat. You can bend the knees if you'd like. Inhale, lift up onto your tippy toes. 
Shift the weight forward, come into plank. Look forward, engage the core. Look up, you can lower the knees here. Bringing a stretch into the front of the body. Come into up dog. So the tops of the feet are on your mat. Lift the knees. Look up. And lower the knees. Come into child. Take the hips back. Long deep breaths. You can spread the knees to about mat width apart and bend forward once again into child's pose. Let's walk the hands forward. Bringing a stretch into the low back. Press the chest towards your mat. Walk the hands to the right side of your mat. Be very mindful of the sensations in the hips and the back. There should be no pain, just gentle stretches. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, other side. And come back to center, lift up into table, and slide forward to lie on your belly. Arms down by the sides, chin on your mat, inhale to lift the right leg. And reach out through the toes. So the goal here is length instead of height. The rest of the body is relaxed. Long deep breaths. And exhale, lower the leg. Inhale to raise the other. Again, the rest of the body is relaxed. And you're reaching out through your toes. Exhale, relax. Make fists with your hands. Place the fists underneath the thighs in the groin region. You have a lot of lymph nodes here, so a gentle massage will help to detox and de-stress. So press the hips down into the knuckles. And as you inhale, lift both feet very slightly. And the focus here should be on the hips, pressing into the knuckles. Exhale, lower. Roll the hands out from underneath the hips, bring the palms underneath the shoulders. And pressing the navel down, start to lift the head and the shoulders. Coming into cobra, we'll start with baby cobra. And slowly lift up a tiny bit more. Elbows are on your mat by your sides. Shoulders relax. Exhale, come back down. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift up, press the navel down into your mat. And slide the hands forward so the forearms are resting. Elbows are beneath the shoulders. We'll come into Sphinx pose. Look straight ahead. Press the navel down. Long deep breaths. 
and start to move the upper body side to side so that you're moving the spine left and right between the elbows, shift your weight back and forth. Keep the navel pressing down. And come back to center, look up. Engage the glutes. And exhale, come back down. Reach the arms forward. We'll lift both the arms and the legs. Coming into Super Yogi. Exhale, relax. Go on to your back. Again, let's reach the arms overhead. And this time, start by stretching the right arm and the right leg. And then the left arm and the left leg. And continue alternating, allowing the pelvis to tilt as you do this, side to side. And relax, inhale, exhale, lift up both feet, lift up the entire body, so the torso and the legs coming into boat pose. You can have the knees bent here. Toes are pointing straight ahead. Arms are in line with the shins. You can straighten the legs here. And exhale, back down. Bring your right knee to your chest. Left leg is active on your mat. And if it feels right, you can exhale and lift the head. Inhale, lower the head, exhale, release the knee. Let's do the other side, left knee to chest. Right leg is active on your mat, and once again, you can lift the head if you'd like. Inhale, lower the head, exhale, bring the right knee to your chest as well. And hug both knees to your chest. Make a gentle effort to bring the low back down to your mat. And keep squeezing the knees tighter to your chest. Exhale, lift the head and curl into a tiny ball. Inhale, lower the head. You can roll the head side to side. Keeping the knees, come back to center with the head. Keeping the knees close to the chest. Raise the feet up, grab hold of the outsides of the feet. Coming into happy baby. Using the hands, you can pull the legs downwards as much as you'd like. Notice that the more that you pull, the deeper your stretch becomes. Rock side to side, massaging your spine. 
on deep breaths here. Allow the hips to become accustomed to this posture. Keep the low back on your mat. Spine is straight. You can come back to center. One last long deep breath here. Exhale from the mouth. Release the feet, raise the feet straight up into the air. Bring the palms facing down to your mat, to your sides, press down through the palms. Reach up through the toes. Legs are as straight as they can be. And exhale, bend knees, bring the shins so they're parallel with the ground. Bring the hands to the thighs. And begin to push into the thighs without actually moving them. So the thighs are applying a counter pressure to the hands here. And again, the harder you push into the thighs, the more challenging this becomes. Just so cater it to what you need right now. Keep breathing. You can pedal the feet a little bit. Scrunch the toes. All the while continuing to press into the thighs. And that's enough. Let's relax. Bring the feet down to about hip width apart. The fingertips should be just brushing the backs of the heels. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, pull the belly in toward the spine and lift the hips. Coming into Sekhu Bandhasana, the bridge pose. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And hold. You can clasp the hands behind the back. Curl the shoulders underneath and lift the hips a little bit higher. The glutes are engaged here. The core is engaged. The arms are pressing down into the mat and the chest is lifting up. And exhale, slowly lower down to your mat. Release the hands, roll the shoulders out. Separate the feet about mat width apart. Bring the arms out in a T. Exhale, lower the knees to the right side. Turn the head to the left. Close the eyes here. Allow yourself to settle into the posture. We'll make a humming noise here. So take a deep breath in. Keeping the awareness in the hips, the shoulders, and the joints. We'll do that again. Breathe in. One last time, breathe in.
Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, aside. Inhale, come back to center. Straighten the legs, bring the arms down to the sides, palms facing up. Take a breath in. Exhale. If you have a blanket, now is a good time to put it on. Take your attention to your right foot. Relax your right foot. Right calf and knee. Right thigh and hip. Relax the whole right leg. Left foot. Left calf and knee. Left thigh. And hip. And the whole left leg. Genitals. Abdomen. Stomach and navel. Breathe in. And out. Once again, breathe in. And out. Relax the chest. Right shoulder. Right arm. Left shoulder. Left arm. Relax the neck. Back of the neck. Back of the head, top of the head, lower head, and 
face. Relax the whole body. The whole body. Peace within, peace without, and peace in the environment. Turn to lie on your right side. With the help of your hands, press up into a seated position. Whenever you feel complete, you can open your eyes. That brings us to the end of our session today. Thank you all for joining me. If you would like more, you know where to find me. Namaste.